Kia ora. my name is Jonathan and I'm here to give you a bit of a rundown on our virtual lab about innovation and design. So we'll just hop right into it. I've got this web page here open in front of me. Hopefully you've been given this web page as well, uh, which you can see is a beautiful image and um, a bit of text. The magic happens when you click on the buttons. So you've got a button here to hit next. And you've got a 360 video that appears. So drag on the screen. That allows you to look around in every direction. And then you can hit play. Boom. Uh, Everything starts moving. I'll just pause it there. Uh, you know what to do, but so I'll let you do that when you get the chance. I hit next again, and now I'm in this space where there's a great big wall with a bunch of artifacts on the wall. Um, and you can see there's again this box that you can use if you hit any of these parts of the graph it actually brings you to different parts of the wall. Um, again, video, play, stop. Same thing as before. Now you might have noticed down at the bottom here there's a little VR not supported button. What's that all about? Well, maybe I can give you a chance. Uh, I'll, I can clarify that for you. So we'll hop into VR. I've got my headset right here. And we've got the little controller. First thing you want to do is you've got a strap. Put the strap on your hand and tighten that strap. There we go. It's just so you don't chuck it across the room and hit somebody. Um, so you've got your controller. And next step is to put on your headset. Um, it's OK to wear glasses with these headsets. All you have to do is just make sure you put the front part first and then um, put the strap down on top. Make sure you put your own headset on before you assist your children. That's a joke. Put it on, and then you've got a little dial at the back here that can tighten or loosen the headset. Um, if it's blurry, oh, wait a minute, I forgot something. It's not very useful if you can't see what I see, so I'll start this screencast. Right, so you should be able to see what I'm looking at. Um, if your vision is blurry, try just moving it side to side, up and down, until you kind of see um, the text quite nicely. So now what I see is this kind of gray, blurry view of my room, and I've got this play boundary um, box following me around, so I'll just hit. I usually tend to just do it quick and easy. I'm standing, just a medium size, um, and I'll go enter VR doesn't really matter which settings you use. Um, I just hope we, uh, this, this is just to keep you safe. Right, so now I'm in this bizarre VR world. Um, it looks pretty cool. Now, uh, when you do this as well, um, just take a moment to appreciate the, how this is neat. And then the next thing you want to do is to just look at this. This is a web browser, normal web browser, as you would have on your laptop, computer, or your phone. Um, and then the next thing I want to explain to you is the buttons on the controller. So I've got one controller. You can use two controllers if you want, but one controller is really the only one that's necessary for this. Buttons, you have a trigger button. That's to select things. So you drag, and you can drag up and down on the screen here using the trigger button. You've got a squeeze button. You've got the dash button here is to go back. So you go back. If you enter a VR world, you can go, you hit the dash button and you come back out. And the next one is the circle button that allows you to realign your view. So you look that way and you get your view ahead of you like that. So you can turn around like this, get your view. So as long as you just hit the, that button for long and hold it down, it allows you to Realign. Right, so let's look at this web page. I'll hit the next button again here if it lets me. It's got the same thing I was looking at before. The only difference is now instead of not available, I see enter VR. So let's try that. I'll hit the trigger. Yes. Boom! I'm in the design space. Um, this is the old warehouse that used to be on print, that still is on print print place. Um, so a few things notice. First, you can see. Well, I'm hiding behind that box there. And also we've got this um, word design box. So I'll just hit 
you can use your trigger here to hit play. Again, that's the same video playing. Um, I'll just jump ahead. So this, you, you get the idea. Uh, first time you watch, especially watching a video going in VR, you might be a bit, um, your senses might feel a bit uh, queasy. So you, won't, I recommend sitting down when you do this, at least the first little bit until you're comfortable. So here I'm again in this VR space with the wall in front of me. I got this board design box here. So this is where all the magic happens. But you got also this space here where you can, you know, look sideways, go up and down. So everything works as if you were there in the space itself. So I'll just show you if I trick, if I use the trigger and just hit one of these. Oh, look, there's a little yellow ball that appears and I've got some new text so you can read the text and then oh, the ball's gone somewhere. Oh, well, look at that. It's going over there. Um, so that's kind of neat. The little ball tells you which part of the wall to go to. Um, I've got another trick to show you. So here's a, remember that squeeze button. If I hit the squeeze button and point at the floor, you see this little disc appear? That's your teleport disc, so you can teleport to that position. So now when I let go, hop, I popped ahead, and now I'm right in front of the place where my ball disappeared. This little box follows me around, so I'll hit play. And then the video starts playing. So it's all the same functionality that we had earlier. I think that's all I wanted to say. Um, maybe one last thing is if this box gets a bit annoying, you can drag it out of the way. So you hit, the, you hold the trigger down on the box itself and you can move it around. You can hide it beneath the floor, or put it up on the ceiling itself. It'll still try to follow you around as much as it can, um, but it'll stay in whatever position you've left it in. And I think that's it. So I'll go out of VR by pushing that dash button. So you can see I'm back in this um, room hovering over the planet. I'll lift my strap. Oops, I just turned off the volume. So there's, there is there is a volume button. I'll lift my strap, take this off, and come back to the real world and say, take off my strap. And I want to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the experience. Um, Namihi.